Finally this evening, it takes some metal to push the pedal, especially if you're driving a bike taxi. Anya Haneke reports tonight from Burlington, Vermont. A taxi around Burlington, Vermont, you've got options. Along with traditional cabs, you'll find green ones, ones that let you set your own fare, and ones that look something like this. Okay, here we go. Bicycle in the front, seats in the back, and all the fresh air you could ever want. It's very carriage-like, that's for sure. James Simpson shuttles people around the city in his bike taxi. An avid biker since he was a kid, he realized he was missing out on a career opportunity and did something about it last year. It's definitely an addiction. Once you learn that you can actually ride for a living, it's one thing that you never want to leave behind. He says many people come to him through word of mouth. Come on, through. His company, Pedal Power Bike Taxi, has become most popular with the nighttime crowd as people look for rides home from the bars that involve perhaps a little stargazing. People are just interested in, uh, you know, romancing their way home after a night of dancing. Some people are on the waterfront and they just want to enjoy the sunset. He says he receives many different requests, informal and formal. I've done weddings, receptions. Uh, business meetings, uh, pickups from point A to point B for going to purchase late night snacks. Another way Pedal Power makes money is through advertising. Companies can lease space on the cab month to month and you're pretty much guaranteed people will be looking. Simpson gets his fair share of stares. I get everybody who's driving a car by and who's on a cell phone, people take pictures. And he welcomes them since stairs tend to beget more business. It is an average of 20 to 40 people in a night that we carry. The ride can be bumpy. I know every pothole by heart. And is generally pretty slow, especially in Burlington's <sighs> hill section. It is a little hot. I don't think people around here are in too big a rush in Vermont. But this is certainly one of the greenest cabs around. If you estimate how much gas that would be, you know, you're probably saving a good, you know, thousand to two thousand dollars in gas. Which is a nice reward after all this work. In Burlington, Vermont, Anya Haneke, NECN.